What's going on, everybody? Brian here from Brian's Broadcast. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. If you have been following me on Instagram, I have posted several times over there asking, did I give into hype or into temptation? And I have a confession to make. I gave into temptation. I did not fall for the hype of Latafa's brand new release called Camera Kahwa. Now, this particular fragrance attracted me because I heard there's some kind of a coffee chocolate thing going on. And I was under the wrong impression, by the way. I heard a lot of influencers and fragrance reviewers talk about it, but it seems like because fragrances are subjective and how each person translates a certain note into their head through the nose, like it completely varies. And I was thrown off guard when I smelled this fragrance. And I'm not saying this is a bad fragrance, but I'll tell you what I had in mind when I bought this fragrance. Now, of course, I went in blind as I usually do. I was under the impression maybe it's going to smell somewhat in the vicinity of Ralph Lauren's Polo Red Extreme or maybe Acro Awake. Now, these two are beautiful Gourmand coffee-based fragrances. And like I said, Gawa was not a disappointment, but the disappointment was because of the fact that I never got the coffee. Let's get that out of the way. Now let's talk about the beautiful presentation on this fragrance. If you have seen Camera or, you know, people who don't own it, I'll just show it to you. So this is what the box looks like. This is Camera Kawa's box. Um, I'll keep it very short. So once you open it, there's a shiny kind of um, metal or shiny plug, whatever. So yeah, that's about it. And this notch held on pretty nicely because the bottle was not moving around when it arrived. You know, like um, usually fragrances just bob around inside the box. This is the beautiful bottle. So it's got a gradient to it, if you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a gradient. So it's from dark to like lighter brown or like deep amber, amber brown kind of color. Kind of like resembles like the extract of coffee is rising all the way from the bottom. It's, you know, like slowly sipping upwards. And um, the atomizer is pretty nice. If you like want to check out the atomizer, like go ahead and check out my first impression video. Um, let me talk to you about the notes on Latafa's Gawa. The bottle is beautiful, I must say, like it's a beautiful one. So I'm reading the notes from the website directly. So on the top, you have ginger, cinnamon, and cardamom. On the mids, you have praline, candied fruits, white flowers. And on the base, you have coffee, arabica, tonka beans, musk, benzoin, and vanilla. Now, this particular fragrance, kind of like I said, it threw me off guard. I was expecting coffee, which I never got. The coffee is most likely working in conjunction with the other notes, like maybe praline or the tonka bean or the vanilla, and it's coming off in a whole different manner. First time when I sprayed this fragrance, you know what I found? What I thought? It kind of like gave me the essence that it's a beautiful, warm opening where you get the sweetness, like mild sweetness from the cinnamon. The ginger provides that warmth and a tad bit of effervescence to it. And of course, the cardamom gives it that spicy kind of like a menthol kind of vibe. But again, this is not one of your medicinal or super spearmint or winter mint kind of thing. This is a very mild, spicy opening. And I must say one thing that this fragrance, um, when I sprayed it, every time that I sprayed it, it took like at least five to ten seconds for that alcohol blast to go away. So make sure like do not get offended right away. Give it like five to ten seconds and that thing is gone. After that, that's where the beauty starts. The fragrance is not too dense. It's not too like um, super sweet consistency like that. It's not like that. It's very, very nice. I would say it's rather smooth. Imagine um, angel share, for instance, like the moment you spray this, this thing's got 
depth. This thing's got the consistency. It's got the power, the umph. But on the other hand, um, Kawa, I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not comparing Angel Share with this one, not comparing any fragrances, but just to give you an idea about what kind of a fragrance you're dealing with. So this one is rather on a bit on the airy side. It's a bit lighter. It's more wearable, I must say. Now, as the fragrance progresses, what I noticed was that Kawa kind of walked in the line of Zaharov's Curly Sense Feet Zaharov of the Immortals. Like this one had that salty caramel kind of thing going on in the opening with that woody vibe, a tad bit darkness to it. This is the kind of vibe that I caught from this one. I'm not saying, again, Kawa is a duplicate of this thing. It's a clone. No, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that I caught a vibe of this one in the opening of this one. Like maybe like around 15 to 20 minutes into the initial dry down. So this was, this was feeling really nice, really good. Again, there was some kind of a darkness luring in the background, but it was in a nice way. Now this fragrance sort of like picks up around like the three to four hour mark. That's where I noticed that white florals coming off. I don't know what kind of white florals they used over here, but it, it was pretty like pretty noticeable. Like you feel it, you, you kind of like feel it. And that's where I felt this fragrance somewhere in the mids could like smell a bit more feminine leaning. But all through, it felt more unisex and, of course, masculine leaning. That was my two cents. Now, the fragrance kind of mixes with that beautiful praline and the candied fruits. Now, the fruits over here, it's like it's like a not a not a jammy kind of fruit, but you get that crystal sugar coated fruits, like the variety of it. And at the same time, you have that praline. Now, the praline over here, it's more on the milky sweet side. For the drying down, this fragrance gives a beautiful vibe, and I'm going to tell you which one. I kind of also got the way the, you know, the vanilla, the praline, the tonka bean, and the benzoin with the sweet woody, dry woodiness that's coming through kind of felt like Nebras, Latafa's Nebras, like towards the absolute base. And this is what I'm talking about, like around eight to nine hours mark. So by now, you must, must have understood that Cambra Gawa is pretty long lasting. And this fragrance, as it dries down, the sweetness kind of like picks up at this point. Now, this is a milky, beautiful, smooth, milky kind of sweetness that keeps on wafting out. Now, the benzoin over here is acting as like a like a dry woody base. And at the same time, the coffee arabica, this is where I got kind of like pissed off. You can say that. Well, I bought this fragrance thinking there was coffee in it but there's no coffee. But here's what I found. The coffee kind of felt like it works like an underlying tone. So what happens is this coffee, you know, this is not one of your beautiful gourmand kind of coffee. So like I said, it's not like Acro Awake or Polo Ralph Lauren Red Extreme. It's not like that. What's happening is, imagine if you go to the barista and once they do your coffee, make your coffee, they have that filter paper in that machine. They take it out, right? That's the kind of dark, dry coffee aroma. You know, the coffee has been extracted, but the leftover, the residue, that's the kind of aroma and essence that I got from Kamra Kawa. And that was the reason I was like pissed off because not because there was that kind of a coffee. It was because I was expecting a whole different thing and... The, th the thing is, like, my expectation wasn't met. But at the same time, I must say, Kawa, by its own right, is a beautiful fragrance. Somewhere in the midst, like I said, the white florals might push off your skin a bit too feminine. But again, fragrances are subjective. Maybe that's what my body chemistry was doing with this fragrance. But at the same time, once it dries down, like the seven to eight hour mark, that's where things tone down. It becomes more milky, a bit more gourmand in nature. And it's sweet. The sweetness picks up, but it's never too much sweet. It's not too sweet. It's never like that. It's not diabetic sweet. So, you know, whatever it makes sense to you. That was the kind of experience that I had with this beautiful release of 2023 from Latafa. It's called Kamra, Kahwa. And I believe in uh, Kahwa and um, Arabic probably means coffee. My Arab friends, if you're here on this channel, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I don't know, maybe I butchered the name of the fragrance. Kahwa, Kawa. Um, sorry about that. 
not my language, so sorry about that. But then again, you guys got the point, right? This is this is a beautiful release. I must say that it's perfect for this cooler, like mid, like starting of fall all the way through winter. This is a beautiful fragrance. Definitely in a dress up situation, this is kind of you can rock this. Beautiful projection, awesome sillage, and has a beautiful longevity. Like it's great it's great like it goes way beyond eight to ten hours with like nine to ten sprays you're like all set for the day even if you go to an after party it's still pushing so this thing's potent anybody who's saying like it's not working i don't know what you bought or where you bought it from but um this thing just worked probably just worked on my skin or maybe i don't know this those fragrances are like although some people say oh these are middle eastern cheapies um, clones blah 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 but remember guys any any fragrance that's too popular right there's a good chance people make a fake of it unscrupulous people will make a fake of it so yeah just stay aware what you bought what you're buying but uh kamra kawa is very very long lasting i must say so this has never failed me it has proven time and time again this was a beautiful release from the house of latafa let me know in the comment section what you feel and just so you know i did not own the original kamra i never felt the urge to buy it and i probably will never but this one got got my attention like i said i gave into temptation because there was chocolate and there was coffee that kind of stuff being talked about and uh, i just bought it and i'm super happy though super happy it's just that the coffee isn't there the way i wanted it to be existent in this fragrance but then again who cares as long as the fragrance smells good it's a win for me. So until the next video, guys, please take care, stay safe, and all the best.